Primary. It's me, Sister Tyndall. Welcome back to Primary on YouTube. I missed you guys last week. I hope you had a chance to watch General Conference. It is such a blessing to be able to have conference twice a year to listen to our prophet and apostles and other church leaders. It renews my spirit every time conference comes around. Uh, today, I want to share with you a part of what President Nelson spoke about this last week um, in regards to making a daily effort to bring Jesus Christ into our lives. While you watch the clip and sing some songs with me, I would like you to think about things that you can do that would help you to think about Jesus more and bring him into your life. It could be praying more often, reading the scriptures daily, listening to primary songs or hymns. It could be having more conversations around the dinner table with your family. I want you to think about things that you can do that will help you to remember and bring Jesus Christ into your life more often. Now let's listen to our prophet. The pandemic has demonstrated how quickly life can change, at times from circumstances beyond our control. However, there are many things we can control. We set our own priorities and determine how we use our energy, time, and means. We decide how we will treat each other. We choose those to whom we will turn for truth and guidance. The voices and pressures of the world are engaging and numerous, but too many voices are deceptive, seductive, and can pull us off the covenant path. To avoid the inevitable heartbreak that follows, I plead with you today to counter the lure of the world by making time for the Lord in your life each and every day. If most of the information you get comes from social or other media, your ability to hear the whisperings of the Spirit will be diminished. If you are not also seeking the Lord through daily prayer and gospel study, you leave yourself vulnerable to philosophies that may be intriguing, but are not true. Even saints who are otherwise faithful can be derailed by the steady beat of Babylon's band. The Lord knows you and loves you. He is your Savior and your Redeemer. He leads and guides his church. He will lead and guide you in your personal life if you will make time for him in your life each and every day. Oh. 
Now's the time to sing one of your favorite songs. Do you know which one it is? The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man weekend we are celebrating Thanksgiving. It is a great opportunity to think about all the things that we are thankful for. I am thankful for my home, my family, and my Savior Jesus Christ. Can you think about the things that you are grateful for? Let's listen to our prophet, President Nelson, on what he thinks about being grateful and saying thank you. Recently, Sister Nelson and I enjoyed the beauty of tropical fish in a small private aquarium. Fish with vivid colors and a variety of shapes and sizes darted back and forth. I asked the attendant nearby, who provides food for these beautiful fish? She responded, I do. Then I asked, have they ever thanked you? She replied, not yet. <laughs> I thought of some people I know who are just as oblivious to their Creator and their true bread of life. They live from day to day without an awareness of God and His goodness unto them. How much better it would be if all could be more aware of God's providence and love and express that gratitude to him. Ammon taught, Let us give thanks to God, for he doth work righteousness forever. Our degree of gratitude is a measure of our love for him. Our minds have a marvelous capacity to notice the unusual. However, the opposite is true as well. The more often we see the things around us, even the beautiful and wonderful things, the more they become invisible to us. That's why we often take for granted the beauty of this world. The flowers, the trees, the birds, the clouds. Even those we love. Because we see things so often, we see them less and less. Those who live in Thanksgiving daily, however, have a way of opening their eyes 
and seeing the wonders and beauties of this world. As though seeing them for the first time. Look around you. Notice the people you care about. Notice the fragrance of the flowers and the song of the bird. Notice and give thanks for the blue of the sky. The red of the leaves and the white of the cloud. Every sight, every smell, every taste, every sound. When we open our eyes and give thanks for the bountiful beauty of this life. We live in thanksgiving daily. We live in thanksgiving daily. A grateful heart, then, comes through expressing gratitude to our Heavenly Father for His blessings and to those around us for all that they bring into our lives. This requires conscious effort, at least until we have truly learned and cultivated an attitude of gratitude. means we are learning a new article of faith. This one is article of faith number 11. It is the only article of faith that doesn't start with we believe. It starts with we claim. Let's learn it. 11. Worship. We claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of our own conscience, and allow all men the same privilege. Let them worship how, where, or what they may. You know, not everyone believes the same things we believe. They don't? Nope. You see, there are billions of people in the world, and many different religions. While we want to share the gospel with everyone, and we invite them to join the church, we believe that everyone should be free to worship how they choose. Yay! They have agency. Right! We are so thankful that we can worship God and live our religion as we believe is right. We get to choose what we believe because then we're not forced to believe one thing even if we don't believe it. Some people are just different. 
In our world, there's different religions, you know, they don't have to believe the same thing. I think that they can believe whatever they want to believe. There used to be a law in England that you had to be one religion, and that was the religion of the king and queen. We should worship him for all the things he gave us. I believe what I believe, but I have some friends who don't really believe the same thing as me. And I respect them still, and I know that they can believe what they want to believe, and I can believe what I want to believe. Have a great week. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Make sure to say thank you to all the people in your life for all the things they give you and to remember to bring Jesus into your day each and every day. Have a great week. Bye.